The phonology of Welsh is characterized by a number of sounds that do not occur in English and are rare in European languages, such as the voiceless alveolar lateral fricative, and several voiceless sonorants nasals and liquids, some of which result from consonant mutation. Stress usually falls on the penultimate syllable in polysyllabic words, while the word final unstressed syllable receives a higher pitch than the stressed syllable. Consonants Welsh has the following consonant phonemes Symbols in parentheses are either allophones, or found only in loanwords. The sound, z, generally occurs in loanwords, e.g. sw, zu, zu, although this is usually realized as, s, in northern accents, e.g., su. The postalveolar affricates, t, and, d, occur mainly in loanwords, e.g. t ships, tipis, chips, and geli, deli, jelly, but also in some dialects as developments from, tj, and, dj, e.g., dal, from diafal, javel, devil. The voiceless nasals per meter, n, occur mostly word initially, as a consequence of nasal mutation. Initial, chi with, or, chi, is colloquially realized as, in the south, e.g. shwek, chi, we chi, six, pronounced, e chi. C results from, j, when preceded by, h, often as a result of h prothesis of the radical word, e.g. i eighth, j, theta, language, becomes a hi eighth, i chi, theta, her language. It also occurs in some northern dialects as the cluster, cj, in place of intervocalic, in words like alan, out, where it is pronounced, akjan, rather than the more common, and standard, on. The stops, ptk, are distinguished from, bd, by means of aspiration more consistently than by voicing, as, bd, are actually devoiced in most contexts. This devoiced nature is recognized in the spelling of, spsk, as sbsg, although per stone, is orthographically street for historical reasons. The fricatives, v, may also be devoiced in some contexts, but are distinguished from, f theta, by having a shorter frication length than the latter. There is a tendency in the spoken language not to pronounce these voiced fricatives in certain contexts, e.g. nasaf, ensiv, next realized as, ensa, or ifini, ivn, up from minid per meter n, mn, mountain. Historically, this occurred so often with the voiced uvular fricative that it disappeared entirely from the language. Some speakers realize the voiceless lateral fricative, as an voiceless palatal fricative, c, in some or all contexts. The occurrence and distribution of the phoneme, varies from area to area. Very few native words are pronounced with by all speakers, e.g. siarad, arad, talk, although it appears in borrowings, e.g. siop, p, shop. In northern accents, it can occur when, s, precedes, ij, or, j, e.g. me s i per mile e i, i went. In some southern dialects it is produced when, s, follows, or, i, e.g. mis per mile, month. The voiceless fricative, chi, is realized as uvular except by some southwestern speakers, who produce the sound in the velar region as x. The r phoneme is reportedly pronounced as a voiced uvular fricative by some speakers in Dyfed and Gwynedd, in a pronunciation known as tafad tu thick tongue. In northern Welsh, the alveolar lateral approximant is consistently velarized or dark in all positions, but remains unvelarized or clear in the south. Vowels The vowel phonemes of Welsh are as follows The vowels and survive from Old Welsh only in northern dialects. In southern dialects, these vowels have become and i, respectively. In all dialects, the contrast between long and short vowels is found in stressed word final syllables, mainly monosyllabic words, whereas in some southern dialects, the contrast is found in stressed non word final syllables in addition. The vowel does not occur in the final syllable of words except a few monosyllabic proclitics. It is always pronounced short except when emphasized in the name of the letter Y. The long counterpart to short, A, is sometimes misleadingly transcribed. This is often found in solely quality distinctive transcriptions to avoid using a length mark. The actual pronunciation of long, A, is, A, which makes the vowel pair unique in that there is no significant quality difference. Regional realizations of a uh, may be ash or in north central and decreasingly southeastern Wales or sporadically as in some southern areas undoubtedly under the influence of English. The diphthongs containing occur only in northern dialects. In southern dialects is replaced by i, u, tilde, 
are merged with u, i tilde i, i, and a are merged with i. There is a general tendency in the South to simplify diphthongs in everyday speech, e.g. Northern, w theta, corresponding to, wa theta, in the South, or Northern, we theta j, and Southern, we theta. <laughs> Stress and pitch Stress in polysyllabic words occurs most commonly on the penultimate syllable, more rarely on the final syllable e.g. verbs ending in o. Exceptions can arise in relation to borrowings from foreign words, such as ambulance and testament, and words with an epenthetic echo vowel such as senatal, kindle. According to its positioning, related words or concepts or even plurals can sound quite different, as syllables are added to the end of a word and the stress moves correspondingly. Note also how adding a syllable to ys griffonid to form ys griffonides changes the pronunciation of the second y. This is because the pronunciation of y depends on whether or not it is in the final syllable. Stress on penultimate syllables is characterized by a low pitch, which is followed by a high pitch on the unstressed word final syllable. In words where stress is on the final syllable, that syllable also bears the high pitch. This high pitch is a remnant of the high-pitched word final stress of early Old Welsh derived from original penultimate stress in common Britonic by the loss of final syllables. The stress shift from final to penultimate occurred in the Old Welsh period without affecting the overall pitch of the word. Topic: See also Welsh orthography